my view. The two exhibition games were very difficult for us. Be this game even more so than last because you're, you're basically chasing around five guards. And it's great shell defensive practice, but it takes a lot out of you. And uh, it's very, very good defensive practice. And it affected our offense. You know, Luke Hancock had no legs. Uh, a lot of our guys were just really, really off. But from a defensive standpoint, it was great playing against them because we had a guard on the perimeter. Bigger guys had a guard. Most of the night, we did a good job of switching. We broke down when we got a little tired and we stopped talking. But um, our defense was good, and that's what we're trying to build on. But I really do think our poor shooting tonight from the outside was just a, a, a product of, of rushing and just being, having tired legs from chasing them around. But they did most of the night they did a really good job of chasing them around. So the rebounding, was that a product of chasing them around defensively as well? Uh, switching and stuff. Well, what happens is when you take a lot of jump shots, they're long rebounds, and you stop in the three, and you got to go chase it and, and, and go after it and get the basketball. And that was probably the biggest disappointment. Not the, the shooting is like, like we know we're not a great shooting team. It's, it's evident. But the, the long rebounds were, were a big thing. You know, when you hold a team to 19% shooting and then 34% shooting and you give them second looks, that just you're shooting yourself in the foot, especially when your break was almost like 80%. You had another little stretch without seeing that point guard with the fouls. Did you like what you saw, or were there other Yeah, that's not. We can play. Uh, we can play without Peyton. Certainly, uh, we've got to get Luke Hancock in, in shape to play. Well, although it doesn't look like it's a, a fast-paced game, you know, when you play Bellman, you you got to guard like seven and eight different cuts every time down the floor. So, from a defensive practice standpoint, it was great. But all the things you saw. That, uh, Bellman do defensively, you don't see Manhattan do it. You know, it's uh, our games are all on TV, and, and any weakness that we have tonight, they're going to do. How much better do you feel like you guys can beat defensively because you have kind of flexibility to switch on picks as much as you can? Well, I thought our bigs did a good job of containing. I, I thought that Wayne and and Russ did a bad job, you know, of of, of, of talking and switching. Um, you know, but that'll come. I thought overall the defense. Was, was decent. Rick, you've mentioned Montrez's struggles at, at defensive rebounding. He has two tonight. Is that, was that also a product of, of the long rebounds? Yeah, I, I remember Montrez is not going to defensive rebound because he's guarding a, a six foot six one guy all the way out by the three point line. So that, that wasn't the problem tonight. It, it was really the guards not rebounding. You know, it's, 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 they should all have five and six rebounds in the game, and, and they didn't. The biggest disappointment was the high lows were wide open, and we, and we threw it at eye level. If I had picked the most glaring things was the high low, low passes. And they're just very simple plays. You can never be short. You have to be long on it. Coach, were there any positive takeaway from tonight? You know... We're going to know on, on Sunday how good we are. I don't put a whole lot of stock in this game. I don't put a whole lot of stock in the Pikeville game. You're just not going to see, you know, 6'11 guys chasing the 6'1 guys. Just not going to do it. We're going to have to handle pressure against, against Manhattan. They're going to play exactly like we will in terms of all the pressure, changing defenses and so on. And um, it'll be a much better test of how we play. I think tonight all our switching and all our movements on defense tired us out on offense. And, and that's why we're short a, a lot on our shots, especially a guy like Luke Hancock. Kevin got out there tonight. What did you think of him? I thought he played well. I don't think Kevin's a three-point shooter. And, you know, it reminds me of a young man I coached at Kentucky one time, Roderick Rhodes. He's a great slasher, great rebounder, great passer, great defender. And what does he try to do every time? Shoot threes. So, you know, I, I just don't think that's his game. I think if he's wide open and the clock shot was winding down, I, I think he, by all means you should take it. You can't shoot. An elevated shot like he shoots from the three-point line, you go to shoot a line drive. So he's got to learn to jump less, uh, and he'll have more arc on his shot. But I, I thought he did okay. He he was pressing too much with his shooting, and um, he'll get better. Was the the, the 19 attempts uh, was that the product of the, the legs and maybe settling, or I think it is with Luke. I don't think besides Luke, we got a bunch of really good shooters from the three-point line. I think they were, I think Kevin's. A very good mid-range shooter. I think we just got a bunch of guys right now coming off. You know, I, I think Wayne Blackshear is nowhere near where he needs to be. You know, he's, he's coming off 
double shoulder surgery, not being inactive for 18 months. And even though he looked good in that one game in the Final Four, it's, he's really just starting to play basketball consistently again. So we're going to be very patient with him. Um, I, I, I thought Russ had Russ has been playing great. He just had him. Russ let his offense tonight affect how he played, and, and that's a sign of a freshman, not a junior. Were you successful in not giving Mass any video for Sunday over these last two games? Do you not know that our games are on in New York? You said you didn't want to show him anything. Yeah. Were you successful in that? He knows what we're going to do. He's been with us, and we know what he's going to do. Um, he's got a very good basketball team, much better than we have faced so far. And, you know, it's, he, they are tough kids. They play great defense. They challenge every shot. They contest. They draw a line in the sand. You know, and we know exactly how they're going to play, and uh, they know how we're going to play, and we're going to have to make some shots uh, against them. But they're going to press us quite a bit, and um, we'll probably press them quite a bit. So, although we, uh, you're probably going to see mostly zone. Uh, you know, again, you, you'll see him probably play mostly zone because he played mostly zone last year. Anything else, Coach? Thank you. Thank you.